Hi everyone and welcome back to theworldcup.com. I am your host as always, Sean McConnell, and we are back. It has been a while since I've done a screencast for you guys. So I do feel sorry, but I've had a lot going on in my life. Um, going back to school, which is almost done, getting a new job, a new house. So a lot is going on and, uh, you know, Certain things have been put on the back burner, but that doesn't mean that I don't care about you guys. I want to give you guys some good tips. Uh, not so much maybe for this week, but moving ahead. Got some uh, good tips coming up, and uh, we'll jump up into the th thick of things right now. Just because I'm kind of excited about what's coming up, and uh, I'll show you here if we just jump on into the... Uh... Okay, I'm sure you are all familiar with the screen. Now, I am going to come back to this game week in a minute. However, I do want to skip ahead a couple game weeks into this game week here in particular. Game week 33. Now, you can see that when I did click over, it did jump down a little bit. That means that there is a double game week this week. Now, if you're not aware, Arsenal and Everton already had a double game week coming up. And now West Ham and United have been added to that. So we've got four teams coming up in the next couple weeks that are going to have some double game weeks. Now, if you recall the uh, the Arsenal, West Ham, and the Chelsea and all the double game weeks that we've had this season thus far, they have been producing some big points for managers. Trust me, if you're not aware of this, this is what's going to help you hop up above some people because they might not pay attention or they might not see it in time and now the way I like to play it and I've kind of broke my my rule but it has paid off is that I hate to pay for transfers so if I know about this say now game week 29 going in you've got 29 30 31 and 32 that's gonna give you around three free transfers maybe more depending on how many you have going into that game week so you want to look at, uh, you know, picking up some United players, some Arsenal players, maybe some Everton and West Ham coming up in the next four game weeks with your free transfers. You know, their schedule uh, isn't too hectic. You know, you got the Derby there with uh, United and City, uh, West Ham have Liverpool, and then uh, where is Arsenal? Arsenal have West Brom, and Everton have Tottenham. So not very easy, but not very hard. Uh, getting back, you have United with Sunderland, Arsenal, Reading, and uh, West Ham, West Brom, and then Everton, Stoke. So, and then uh, lastly, you got uh, West Ham, Chelsea, Arsenal, Swansea, City, Everton, so and United, Reading uh, coming up this game week. Um, so, you know, I, I just I want to give you guys some good tips, so that way you can structure your team moving forward. You're not paying for them. You're not getting that negative four or more when you're transferring players into your team, and that way you can take advantage. So if you know now, then you can kind of you know structure it your trades knowing that going forward. I've already started that. If we look at my team, um, I picked up Pinar uh, this week, and now some of you guys are probably saying, "Well, why'd you pick him up and not Fellaini?" Well, reason being, and there's a lot of chatter out there, and I'm sure. If you don't know, you've probably read or you've heard that uh, there's a few players that are going to be on what uh, you know suspension watch. They're they're up there in suspensions, and their next yellow card, they're going to be out for two games. So it's kind of um, a risky wager, if you will, to pick up someone who's going to have that opportunity only for them to get you know a yellow card, and then you have to restructure your team, and you know it kind of negates the move that you just made. So. I kind of, you know, recommend that you guys avoid those players. I think uh, Louise um, on Chelsea and Fellaini are two top kind of guys that, you know, people will be looking at. Um, so that's why I went for uh, Pinar. I also have Walcott on the team too. He's going to be staying there. And uh, in the next couple weeks, I'll be looking at some West Ham and some United players. So going from there. Uh, this week, I'm going to have Suarez as my captain. He's been playing great. Um, Benteke and Lambert. Lambert, uh, he's had two blanks, but uh, you know I'm giving him hope. He's gonna have a home game against Liverpool, um, so we'll see. I think uh, really the only thing that I'm lacking in is my defense, 
and uh, we'll look at that coming up. But again, you know, you're not really getting a lot of points unless you got a clean sheet, and uh, those are a little bit hard to come by nowadays because there's some high-scoring games, and you know, teams are getting you know their their games in. So also, if you want to look for teams that are hungry too, you know, look for uh, look at the bottom for regula uh, regulation relegation teams. Uh, someone like Benteke on Aston Villa or Lambert on Southampton. They're kind of on the brink of uh, relegation, and you know, if they're going to stay above, they need to win. If they need to win, they need to score. So, who are they going to count on? They're going to count on their clutch players, Benteke and Lambert. So that's why I have them on my team. I do that every year when it comes down to you know the last couple weeks, which we're getting into. There's about uh, we're into 30, so there's 38. So including this game week, you know, there's nine game weeks left. A lot of points can be made in that time. Don't ever think it's over until it's over. I remember when I won my league the first year I was in it, I won by maybe a margin of eight to ten points. So. Uh, you know, it'll come down to the wire, and don't ever think that, especially with double game weeks coming up. You always want to keep your eye out and, you know, don't give up hope. Just keep on playing, play your best, your smartest, and you know what? That way you can say, hey, you know what? I did my best. So, hopefully, uh, this gives you some insight into what's coming up for the next couple weeks. And, uh, you know, if not, then hey, I'm glad you listened this far. But again, I appreciate all your comments, your emails and uh, all your posts that I get I, um, you know thank you very much and again I will see you I don't know if it'll be another video but I'll be sure to be posting next week and uh, we will see you then so best of luck managers and I'll see you next Thursday take care